Hi everybody. Well, it is uh, getting to be that time because the New Hampshire primary is on January 23rd. Right after that, they just keep going like this, going like this. Uh, South Carolina, although South Carolina is locked up. That one's lined up. Nevada, Michigan, Iowa, and then Super Tuesday. Uh, please send money if you haven't sent money. Uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars we had to put out to get on these uh, get on these ballots. Then we have to pay all the expenses of the campaign, and we're trying to get all these internet ads that are going out in all these states, not only New Hampshire but also Nevada and and Iowa and Michigan. And we're just getting started. If we have the money, the biggest problem we have, you know, we're holding steady, but you know we don't have much time. And the issue is people just don't know that we exist. And I know that you know all the efforts that have been made by the system. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Uh, you know, there are, I want you to be really clear, there are Republican candidates who spent tens of millions of dollars to be not as high in polls as we are. And so what we've done on Faith and Fumes and just those, you know, small dollar donations is kind of incredible. And we're not stopping because that's the way the system works. It's just like squash you down uh, so that you just go away and do as you're told. And they use money to do that. And that, I feel that what happened that way in this campaign is like a microcosm of how life works for so many Americans. The system just squashes you down and it's economic, isn't it? Mm -mm. Too many of us not doing what our hearts want us to do. So I put it in truly every sense. I've done it because I felt that otherwise I wasn't demonstrating something. I'm not asking you to do what I did, which is like everything. I'm asking you to do what you can. And, uh, and let's just do this, let's do this. Let's, let's do this to the point where we have made every bit of difference, if whether that takes us to the White House, or just takes us to one state or five states, whatever it takes us through, that all of us will feel we did this, we did this, we laid it down, we, we invested. If that speaks to you, if you know that the way to beat Donald Trump in 2024, and you know, even if you're thinking of maybe voting for Donald Trump, if you feel that the way to, to begin a new chapter of American history is to cut the cord with the last one, to, to have an economic turnaround, to rebuild the middle class, to have an economic bill of rights, to have universal health care, tuition free college and tech school, paid family leave, uh, guaranteed living wage, guaranteed sick pay, Department of Peace, Reparations, Department of Children and Youth, ending the drug war, like a whole new thing. Fundamental, not a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit. Incremental change here, an incremental change there. No, no alleviation of stress for people who are living in an unjust economic system. Let's just get rid of the injustice. And we can. And of course, that every time they mention my name, they say long shot. There's a reason for that, to get that subliminally into your mind. She can't win. Where do you, this is what she, the person who gets the most votes will win. All that stuff. We, we have to come out of this trance that, uh, that the systems put us into. Anyway, this is your democracy. Vote your heart. And if our campaign is your heart, please send money. That's what's needed, really, really needed right now. Really needed right now. Um, that is more than anything else what will determine how far we can take this. Much love to you. Many thanks. Go to Marianne2024.com. Please do what you can. Talk to you later.